Hello, I'm Victoria Kennedy, the United States Ambassador to Austria. Today is International Women's Day, when we proudly celebrate the achievements of women around the world. The first International Women's Day was held 111 years ago, when women in four nations, including Austria, came together to march for equal rights. Here in Vienna, on that first celebration, women paraded on the Ringstrasse and gathered in 300 different locations throughout the country to demonstrate for equality. Today, we come together virtually with a message of equality that has particular resonance in 2022. Gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow as we focus on women and girls addressing climate change. In the United States, we're proud of the climate leadership of Vice President Kamala Harris, and we're proud that we have so many women in key cabinet-level positions impacting the environment. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm, Secretary of Interior Deb Haaland, Housing and Urban Development Secretary Marcia Fudge, White House National Climate Advisor Gina McCarthy, to name a few. And in Austria, you have the leadership of Climate Minister Leonor Gewessler, as well as Economic Minister Margareta Schrambach and Agriculture Minister Elizabeth Kestinger, among others. We applaud the women who are seeking green tech solutions in both our countries, as well as other involved women and girls who are focused on achieving a sustainable future for our planet. We also applaud the women whose names we may never know, but who are essential in the fight to sustain our world. I'd like to end my message with a special word to some heroes who are focused in a different but very important way on preserving a sustainable future for their families and their country. I'm speaking about the women of Ukraine. To First Lady Olena Zelenska, to the women who serve in Ukraine's government, to the women in uniform and those who have joined as citizen soldiers to repel an aggressor who has chosen war and destruction over peace and diplomacy, to the journalists risking your lives to keep the world informed about the truth, and to the mothers and grandmothers and sisters and daughters making the arduous journey across borders to keep your loved ones safe. We see you and we are inspired by you. We stand in solidarity with you. You are not alone. And to all women, let us join together in sisterhood to keep fighting in our own way for equality and a sustainable future for us all. Thank you very much.